Hey Stampers, welcome back to Sandy's Creative Connection. I have a great project for you today. Welcome back. So this project is card two of my final blends class. Um, we had a lot of fun doing this card and wanted to have some type of background um, used for a way to use your blends and have a, a cute little background. So I'm going to show you how to do this. Um, what you'll need is, this is Bermuda Bay, and it's eight and a half by five and a half. And then your first, and I scored it right down the middle, of course. And then your first color, or first layer, is Knight of Navy, and it's four by five and a quarter. Then you're going to need a piece, I'm going to change it up a little bit. Make this piece um, Knight of Navy. And then the piece that goes over top, I'm going to make, that's Whisper White. Now these sizes are 2 by 4, and then the white is inch and 3 quarter by 4, okay? Now the um, piece that is the second layer, or what we're going to do the blends on, is a piece of gloss paper. We sell the gloss paper it's um on page let's see 192 of the annual catalog right in here glossy white our paper is very thick so it's nice to work with um you could use photo paper so if you've got a bunch of photo paper in your in your craft room just use it but get make sure it's thick it's the cardstock's um thickness so the thing we're going to, oh, and go get, um, go get your silicone pad so you don't mess up your surface. You're going to need Knight of Navy in your blends and Bermuda Bay in your blends. Now, the next thing that, um, let's see, then you need to take a scrap of the gloss and you need to use the butterfly out of the springtime impressions framelits and you need to go cut it out using the butterfly. So this sets us up to do the card. First thing you, oh, and the, sorry, the other thing you need is you need a uh, aqua painter. And what I did is I loaded this aqua painter with alcohol. And you'll see what I'm gonna do with that in a minute. All right, so then just turn your sheet here, quarter turn, and I'm just gonna alternate colors. I'm gonna take the brush side and I'm just gonna quickly lay down alternating lines going from light to dark doesn't matter how thick the lines are And you're going to do this till you finish, till you get to the end of the paper. I kind of overlap it into the previous color. Then we just start all over. Of course, overlapping it. This is the dark. Again, using the brush side. And I don't use the tip because I don't want to crush that tip of my brush aqua. Sorry blends. Okay, so I had a little technical difficulty, but I wanted to show you the end um, of the card, so I just kept kept alternating colors. Now, remember how I told you to get the aqua painter and you take and you fill it up with alcohol? Now you just take the brush and you know because I'm smoothing out the lines is what I'm doing. Just going through and just kind of blending it all with an aqua painter. 
I guess you could do that with one of the lighter colors of our aqua painters, but I kind of like saving those and going through and just mixing with this. So it kind of dulls the color down, but it also mixes it. It's a fun, it's a fun thing to do. All right, so then this gets put on here and you can use just standard glue. And then the other thing you want to do is grab that butterfly you cut out and you're going to do the same exact thing. Turn it on the, on its side, use the brush and just, just do, just alternate colors. There's no right or wrong. Thin, thick. Fun, fun, fun. And you kind of look at it at first and you think, eh, I'm not sure I like that. But once you get the alcohol on there, Blending everything together. It really looks kind of cool. And the um, the silicone pad makes it so that it doesn't get on everything. And kind of holds it in place. So there you go. And I'm just going to take, just do that center one. There you go. Yep, and you let it dry. And then this you need to clean pretty much right away. Okay, so let's go ahead and, and put this card together. You're going to take the piece that you did uh, multicolor or the second layer of your card. And you are just going to glue it down. What's nice about using Stampin' Up! products is all the colors match. You're not having to go out and find blues like a Night of Navy. You don't have to go out and try to match that. So I'm going to take this, grab the Night of Navy classic ink, and I am using the stamped image. I'm using the stamped image from Picture Perfect Birthday. It's on page 76. And I'm using the um, happiest of birthdays to you. I'm inking it up in Night and Navy. And I'm going to stamp it on the far right side just because i got to get that butterfly. The butterfly right there. All right, um, I'm going to glue this down next. Well, first of all, I'm going to set it up here and see. It's a little, little big. Nope. Nope, it'll work. I think I might need to trim the white. But I can do that. I converted one of our ribbon scissors over to an awl. I marked it as awl so I know that if it doesn't quite cut the ribbon nice, it's because I've been cutting paper with it. But it's nice to have a long um, scissors with a long pair of cutting surface so that you can, you know, it, I can just cut better with it on long cuts. Okay, I'm gonna put this down on the front of the card. Not right in the middle, just there we 
go. And I did this one with Bermuda Bay. So I thought I'd change it up. Let's see what it looks like. And then this, I got a little bit of glue oozing. So I'm going to take a paper towel and catch it. Let's turn this over and glue. Trying to get all the sides even. Then we're going to take this butterfly, which I think he turned out beautiful. Love it. I'm going to use um, some glue dots because I want those wings to be loose. I don't want to glue down the wings. So a couple of glue dots on the back. We're going to turn him just enough to get him on the paper, but still have the, there we go. And then last but not least, let's do some rhinestones. Working their way down the card in the form of a Z. Of course, one goes on the butterfly's head. There we go. All right, well, that's card two. It was a lot of fun. Everybody enjoyed making it, so I hope you do too. I have a list of all the supplies down in the description, so if you'd like to order it, order some supplies and try it yourself. Have at it. I would love to have any comments. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It helps me. Um, and I would love to have you as a, um, a subscriber. So, all right. Um, have fun stamping.